Greetings folks, we are at VDTA 2019 at the Lindhouse booth. And if you're not familiar with Lindhouse, really high quality, really bit of Italian design. So we're going to talk about the HF6 canister though, right now. The HF6 has quite a few little features about this little canister that make it quite a pleasure to use. First of all, it's got a nice heavy duty telescoping wand. You have quick release right there in terms of how that works. You have quick release on the hose as well. Nice button lock system. You have a suction relief valve right there. You have a good on off right there as well. Put this aside. We'll talk about the nozzle later. Now this has a limited swivel, but it's very, very nice. Now, we could call this the central vac of portable vacuums. And I would say, I would categorize that by two things. One, it's got a really long hose. Two, we have this nice valve. So if you have to store this in a closet or something, you have this valve and you're basically plugging this in just like you would a central vac, except because it's portable, you have this extra little catch to keep that from going out awry. Uh, the cord will wrap up. It's got a 40 plus foot cord on here. Um, and it manually winds here, so there's no cord rewinder, nothing to break like that. In terms of filtration, you can get a HEPA filter, and I do know these will zero out a particle counter with a HEPA filter. Curiously enough, though, the gentleman let me know that there was a blower right here. So this is maybe one of the only modern vacuums with a blower as well. Now also up here, we have our dusting brush, upholstery tool, and a full-size crevice tool. So that's really cool, all this stuff stores up here, just like so, nice and secure. And it's actually not too picky where you put this stuff like some vacuum, so that kind of eases use. Now we're going to swivel this around. Now one other thing I just want to point out is there is a light right here. And what that does is when your bag is full or clogged, it lets you know right there. So in here, you unlatch this. In here you've got your pre-mortar filter. Now this doesn't have a HEPA bag, but it's got a large paper bag. And it is self-sealing. How are you doing? Good. Um. As you can see, it's very, very quiet, even though it doesn't have a HEPA filter. A lot of airflow, a lot of water lift as well. So this machine doesn't have a cord winder, but you really don't need one. The way the casters are set up on this machine, Really, you're just going to wind the cord by doing that. So the simplicity of this, there's nothing to break. And with this long cord, I can't imagine how much weight the cord winder would add. So it's nice to just have this long cord, especially if you're in a big house or a big commercial place to clean. That definitely would be a nice touch to have. Now another peculiar feature of this machine is it has tool storage back here, and then it just folds away. So if you need to take your wand, so you can have both your bare floor tool wand and your, your powered wand with you. You don't have to leave it behind in the closet. Really cool. It's pretty solidly on there. Just really cool stuff from Linhouse here. Let's talk about the maneuverability because this canister has a long cord and a long hose. To talk about the power head a little bit. So these have been sold for years as central vac power heads, and this is one of the toughest power heads 
in the industry right now. And this is really one of the only ways to get this power head with a quick release is to buy a Linhouse canister. Um, go check out my video on the disassembly of this power head, deep down disassembly right there. On the bottom side of this, this comes apart really, really easily. It comes out like that. Clean your roller off, real easy. If you give this a half a twist, that all comes out really nicely. You can get to the bearing as well, and all these parts are available separately as well. Now, we're gonna just real quick clean this out for these gentlemen because they let me use their vacuum as well. You can see how easy that is to service on there. Then you put your drive side in there, put that on there. And then we just put this cover on there like that. Then you only have three tabs on this. Linhouse does make a wider nozzle that has five tabs. You can see. All right, we're gonna do a pickup test with the Linhouse HF6. We have dog hair, flour, we got some breakfast cereal, and of course we have some cat litter. As we can see, there's nothing stuck inside here. We have a little bit of static electricity cleaning to here, but picked up really well on that. Really the only thing is it snow plowed a little bit of cat litter, and that could be because of the adjustment, but it did really, really well, especially on the fine pickup and the pet hair. the edge cleaning there. One of the things about this is because of these ports and how this is, it has excellent edge cleaning. This actually edge cleaned better probably than any of the nozzles I've used uh, in past videos. And their floor setup in this booth is wonderful in terms of what they have in terms of a variety of flooring. They also have some deeper pile carpet over there as well. So I started putting this canister away. They brought to my attention they have this wonderful floor tool. I'm going to show the path. You have a brush and a squeegee and two separate cleaning paths. This is going to do really well.
It's stuck to the floor. You see, it just sucked everything up. Really did well. Well, thanks for watching our video on the Linhouse HF6 from VDTA. Please like and give this video a thumbs up.